What's up MTV? Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the RAM in a Macintosh Plus. Let's get right into it. So if I go to the About the Finder um, window, it says I've got 1,000 kilobytes, which is one megabyte of RAM. Um, this computer can handle four megabytes max, so that's what I'm going to put in it because um, one megabyte's not enough. So let's uh, shut it down. Switch it off, unplug it. And you just pick it up and move it to your workspace. I decided that I will just work on it here on a shirt so I don't scratch up the front. So I'll set that down. Let me grab my tools. Okay, so now I've got my long T15 Torx driver. I'm gonna stick it in there, get this back panel off. There's a, there's one more um, screw under the battery cover, so you don't want to forget that. All right, there we go. First, I'm gonna take off this uh, metal plastic shield thing, then carefully without touching the CRT because I am not going to discharge that. Just pull out the floppy cable, pull out the uh, power cable. And then the board should slide right out like that. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're either going to want to cut or desolder this resistor. Um, somebody either cut or desoldered it before to make it um, 4 megabytes and then resoldered it. I'm going to need to desolder that so I can actually use this board. Also forgive me for my horrendous soldering skills. Good. <laughs> enough okay so there we go it is loose free now i can install the four megabytes okay so these uh plastic bits here are kind of fragile it seems that one of them has broken off over here from somebody else so yeah okay so those slots are free now so i will install the the four megabytes in it all right so here's my other chips so to install this you go from the back or from the farthest towards the center of the board, you put it in like this and you press it down till it clicks. And you do that for all four. So next I'll grab the board and I'll slide it back into the grooves on the metal case. And that should just slide in like that. Now I can reconnect the uh, power wire here. And the floppy drive connector. Now what you're going to want to do is get your shield, put it back in the spot where it was, make sure it's in the grooves that the board is sitting in, that way it lines up well. Now you can put the back cover back on. Be sure to line up these corners here on both sides so that it fits well. Now you can drop the screws back in, try and push them down the right way up as far as you can. Then you can drop them, screw them in. Now you can put your battery cover back on and you're ready to go. Now, if I check the finder window, 4,000 kilobytes, which is 4 megabytes. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Comment if you'd like. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.